that's fine. That if there's room for the seat to be up for him to sit all the way in the back, he you could do that. It's fine. Come here, Tris. So I'm recording. I don't think y'all. I don't add color to my baby's hair. Y'all see that? Look, you see how tall this child is. God damn. I'm tall. You're short. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I still get up on the chin. Get that head on. <laughs> so. So, today's video is being recorded in real time. As I'm talking to you guys, I also have a brand deal that I have to kind of finish up before I pack my computer to go. And it will be in Atlanta. So, um, my friend ended up not purchasing the house, pretty much. And so, the house has been on the market for 24 hours. I'm currently under contract. Um, someone came in and offered quite a bit over the asking price so like I said I'm under contract so I'm gonna be leaving the house um, I always say just do what you feel in your heart because I know some people said I was packing way too early but then I had my friends that were like girl your house isn't gonna stay on the market long you need to pack and get up out the house because if it was me buying your house, I want you out. And that's exactly what happened. The people who are buying the house wanted me out, but I can't leave when they want me out. Um, I have to leave in June. So literally in 30 days, I will be out this house. That's basically how it's gonna end up. I wanted to be able to stay a little bit longer so I could have time. But um, a spoiler alert, I got the town home. Um, I got the town home. I've paid. You guys will see me go to the bank, grab that, because all of that's already on my card. I just have to edit the content. But I went to the bank, got the money, got everything, so that's handled. But I can't move until June. And that's one. Um, two, I had the virtual tour um, of things here. And I know a lot of you guys are reaching out to me about buying certain things. I felt like it was just easier to sell the things to my friends. So even though my friend wasn't buying this house, she purchased mirrors, she purchased rugs. I've sold my bar stools. I've sold the kids' beds. Um, I've sold decor. I've sold drapery. I have. I've sold a lot. I've sold a lot. So I also made money on that. So yeah, um, because I have family, my son has his best friends. Like so much is the life that I lived here in Savannah is not the life that I'm going to be living in Atlanta. So I've decided. Um, just kind of revamp the house and just give it a little bit more zhuzh, you know, a little bit more personality, a little bit more, you know, vibrancy. And so I'm really, really excited. So, um, so my desk to my office, I'm going to just go to Ikea and get something like really, really quick. Once I purchase a new home, I figure out that area. I'll just order another desk and, um, you know, figure stuff out. So you're, you're not going to see some of the stuff that are currently in the house currently you know but um i love all the light fixtures for the new homeowner um yeah that's what's pretty much has been going on i have someone here now that's moving some stuff around so um again i do apologize i felt like it was just better to sell things to people that i knew and you know i had people that really wanted something out the house a part of me is like thank god i made the extra money because it's like okay great but then there's another part of me was like man you've been eyeing my stuff <laughs> <laughs> All this time you are eyeing my things like now you uh can I come over? Like what the like what you selling? I'm like, what you want is the question. Well you know uh I was eyeing this so but anyway, I'm I'm extremely, extremely blessed. I'm sure as you guys know. Um, I'm sure you guys know that I made quite a bit of investment in things in the house. So I essentially sold everything for exactly what I purchased it for. So that was really good to um, make that money also. So I'm happy about it. Make a great investment in your home. Make a great investment. Um, I know a lot of you guys are still very much hurt and like whatever that I'm selling the house. But you know I, I love the house i'm not gonna say i don't i absolutely love the house i just feel like it really wasn't meant for me to fall in love with the house if you guys remember like i left with nothing 
absolutely zero darling <laughs> i left with nothing like nothing there's still a part of me that thinks about that moment like girl what were you thinking you know like i didn't fight for anything i didn't argue about anything i, I left with nothing okay and then I moved into this house with absolutely nothing. This last two years was just me proving to myself that I could actually do this and I did it. And so now, like I'm selling, I'm making a nice chunk. Now I can actually move like into another space with something, not only with something, with a nice, anyway, it wasn't meant for me to fall in love with this house. I knew what my plan was. My mama knew what the plan was. There. People who were in my close quarters of friends knew what the plan was from day one of what I wanted to do. The only difference is it was supposed to be three years, but because of COVID and just because of the overbidding, bidding wars and all of that, I took the opportunity early and said, you know what, let me just go now. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm really sorry that some of you guys have heard about it. Um, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. I, I would hope and pray that as women, you would understand. And um, let me say exactly what I want to say to y'all. At some point, I would like to be supported and just be like, you know what? We done seen this girl move with nothing. We done seen her move in with nothing. And she done got this far. So clearly she's doing something right. Let's just let her do what she do. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say, I'm not taking it as a negative, but... I'm already stressed, I'm already under pressure, I'm already moving, I'm already doing all this stuff. I don't want to talk to y'all in the DM about what I'm doing. Like, I don't want to continuously having to keep, like, whatever, you know? So, that's just where I'm at with it. Um, but, oh, I just feel really blessed. I know COVID wasn't that, that affected everybody and we're still going through it. But at the same time, the way I look at it, I feel like in some different areas it was a blessing. Because I'm just like... You know, and to be in a house in two years and to make what I'm about to make on this house is a blessing. It's an absolute blessing, um, which is why I feel like we always have to operate from a place of discernment for ourselves. Even though I'm on social media and so much information has been thrown at me, you have to continuously pray and ask for direction and ask for healing and ask for growth. That way you can make a sound decision for yourself. Yeah, so... Um, that's pretty much what's going on but i wanted to give you guys an update the videos are still going to play very normal what i already have recorded um but i wanted to come on here and tell you guys in real time i don't know how this deal is going to um go or whatever but i am praying that everything just works out asking you guys to pray also um but they did offer quite a bit over and like i said i have someone here now that's um moving some stuff um i will say today's the 19th it's 5 30 by the 30th at least at least i will say 60 percent of this house is going to be out of this house and then when it's time for me to move into my place i'll take the remaining items and go with it because like i said i sold a lot of things out the house because i just i knew that i wasn't gonna um the way things are set up now, they're not going to be set the same in the new place. So I'm going to be purchasing quite a bit of new things for the new house. And so um, the great thing about it is I've already manifested it. Um, the home that I'm going to purchase, I want it to be very similar um, to how this home is now. I just want the market to kind of simmer down a little bit and then I can kind of go back in. But um, yeah, I feel really good about it. I have a few videos that are going to be coming up just discussing different things, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to ramble. Oh, I want to say something really quickly. So, um, what I was trying to explain in the video, uh, it wasn't that I was single and I'm looking for to rent. It's the fact that, um, if this part may go over some of you guys, if you did not see the previous video, but basically what I was saying is, Sometimes I've noticed when you're renting, um, it's good to have two working parties because if one person can't afford it, then they know they have a second person. The really great thing about this property is it was being rented by the owner and not rented by like a real estate company. Real estate company tends to be a little bit more harder up, especially with their cash, you know, and so... 
how they get paid and all of that, you know. So but sometimes it's just a little bit harder because there were definitely some areas where they were automatically requiring like two months deposit. And I'm just like, really? Come on now. You know, and so with this person, everything went through. We had a good rapport and everything like that. So that just, whew. Y'all, when I tell you things are just working out in my favor, I just, I'd be like, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. I made so many decisions in my life and thought to myself, am I making the right decision? And I feel like for this last two years, I felt like everything has been so right. It's like I spoke it and it happened. Because I remember the real estate agent saying, well, exactly how much do you want for the house? And I said, I want this number. And she was like, well, let's list it. And I said, well, I don't know if I should list it. Let's list it for this much. And then hopefully it's a bit more and I can get this much and stuff. And so the fact that I got what I had originally said, I was like, wow. And again, people told me I wasn't going to get that amount. People said I wasn't going to get it. And I was actually, honestly, I was gonna sell the house to my friend for less. And so I ended up actually making more money by putting it on the market. <laughs> so it actually ended up working out a little bit better. Um, I'm whispering, like I said, I have people in my house and so I don't want everybody to just like be all up in my stuff. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, right now, I'm still 50-50 on selling my dining chairs. Somebody did ask to buy them. I'm still 50-50, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end up selling it. Um, yeah, so the next time I'm recording in my house, probably closer to like maybe like the first or second week of June, if you're not seeing things in the house, just know that I sold everything. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. It's giving me more traditional than um, transitional that I was looking for. And so I feel like um, I'm going to probably end up wanting to get new dining chairs. But I'm going to go ahead and get to editing and getting to do what I need to do and getting to do all this stuff. And then um, I will be back. I hope you guys have a really, really amazing day. Um, today was some really amazing news, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm very, very much excited, so I will see and talk to you guys next time. Have a really, 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 really amazing day. Oh my gosh, I'm moving. <laughs>